All right, welcome to our welcome to our next kid review video. Uh, we're doing an another one of these pop and cooking uh, Japanese food sets slash kits. Um, pretty cool. Uh, we had Solid Comic Con this last weekend, and we bought these at one of the booths there. And uh, it looks like this is like a sushi one. I'm really hoping this one tastes like candy and not like actual actual sushi. If you look at uh, our other videos, we have one of a hamburger or a cheeseburger, and that actually tasted like a cheeseburger, and it was pretty nasty. Uh, you guys need to watch that video. It's hilarious. Um, but this one... Um, it's uh, some sushi rolls, so let's check it out. Uh, looks like the kids were anxious and already started opening it. So let's go ahead and finish opening it and uh, see what's inside. So with these pop and cooking, uh, go ahead and open it, Jade. What we do, we got to be very careful when we open up the, the wrapper. We just don't want to open it up because... When we just open it up, we might rip some of the things. And as you can see, there's uh, some places that we need to cut. And uh, the wrapper helps us uh, in making the foods. Um, there's different uh, labels that we can put on some of the sets. And uh, little guides that help us into shaping the, the food into the right shapes. So be careful as you open up the packaging. You get, uh, you need to use scissors. Um, so let's finish opening it. And see, we have several packages here. Hmm. It's like a hard candy there. And we have a little scooper. Oh, and a little bottle. I wonder what that's for. We'll find out. And the tray. So the tray usually we have to cut um, uh, because it's the different compartments. And uh, so let's go ahead and there's lines that indicate where to cut. And so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so it comes with this little dropper. And what we do is we just fill it up with water. And inside here, it has the lines of how much water to fill it up. So we squirted water up to fill the line. And then we can open up the first package and, and uh, make it. So the first package that we do is this uh, I guess blue colored one. And then we just mix it. And this looks like it's, it's to make like the rice, the sticky rice. So we'll go ahead and mix all that up. All right, so now she, Jade ended up molding it with her hand. Um, so this is going to be the sticky rice, and it actually smells like bubble gum. So that's a good sign that this is probably all going to be sweet as candy. Okay, next we fill water into, so there's two trays right here, two slots here and here. If you can see, this one has lines in it, and this other one has the different figures. The lines are, are different. We put it in that second one. We fill it up the water to the line that's on the inside. That's good. All right, and then this is going to be the yellow package. So the yellow package we we put in that second slot there. Okay, so we pour the yellow package in there and mix it up. And I think this is going to be kind of like a jelly. And so we just kind of mix that up and we just let it sit in there. All right, so next we fill the next tray with uh, water up to the line. And this is the red packaging that we open up and uh, pour in there and we just mix it. We mix it all real good and then we kind of spread it flat against the whole, in the whole tray there. Okay, so now we have those two all ready to go. And the next step is we have this gummy in this packaging that looks like it's supposed to be the seaweed. And we're supposed to stretch it to match um, right there. Yeah, right there on the, 
on the on the wrapper. So we stretch it to match that size. Okay, so we just put it there on the wrapper and spread it out and stretch it and then that'll be the correct size that we need to make our sushi roll. Okay, so she's just molding it to fit that size and it smells really good. It smells like grape. So that's going to smell awesome. It's going to taste awesome. You know what it smells like? It smells like a grape haichu. Yes. Okay, we got our, our seaweed there for the sushi roll. Okay, let's see what's next on the box. So we just did that, now we're on step five. We gotta mix the blue, what is that, like a light blue? Green. Or a green turquoise color. Or an orange, I don't know. So we have these two packages left. Oh yeah, it's a green and an orange. Okay. So let's see, open it up, and uh, we put it in those, pack in, in those slots there. Okay, so what it looks like here, we're debating on exactly what to do. Um, so it looks like the orange packaging, we put where it says B, and then the other green packaging, we put where it says A. And then it looks like we suction up the B side, which is orange, into the A side. Can you see that? There we go. And then, and then I think that makes like the little fish eggs. But then, we're not sure what this other, you see this third water spout, or not spout, the third water tray, we're not sure what that's for. And the instructions kind of end there, or, or I don't get it. Oh, maybe, yeah, I'm not Go sure. Right here. Well, so we're just going to wing it and see. So, Jade already put the green one in there, mm -hmm. and... It's still kind of clear. Yeah. There's no color. Yeah. Okay, there's no color. Those are until there's like no scratches. Like yeah, so just mixing it until it's all dissolved. Okay, and then now let's mix the orange one. Yeah, clean it off so that. Yeah, let's. Fun. So we've been wiping it off. Watery. Yeah, it looks watery. Okay, so now we got that mixed up. Now we're gonna suction that up and it should make little fish eggs. Mm. Kind of look like looks like it is. Hey, yeah, that's kind of cool. And it doesn't make go together, it just. That one has a I think you're dropping more than one drop at a time. That's why it was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that's pretty cool. So it makes like the little eggs and they're intact. Look at that. So they all want to try one now. You guys ate one? Yeah. What does it taste like? Grape haichu. Like a grape haichu? Yeah. Wow. First, when you chew it, mm. like this juice just squirts, squirts in your mouth. Oh, it squirts? Mmm. -hmm. Mm. That sounds good. Should we pour it in there? I don't know. Should we? Yeah, because I need to make more. Okay. So, we're going to try to scoop out these fish eggs and put them in the other tray. We don't know if that's what it's for, but that's what we're going to use it for. Just to, to get them out of the way so we can make more more of these little fish eggs. Okay. So we're making more fish eggs. That looks like fun. Pretty cool. Okay, so now it has a little guide right here to tell us how big we make our little clumps of rice. We made it as, make it as big as that square right there. So we need to make four of them. So according to the box, 
we got four. One, two, three, four. So our candy seaweed, we already put our sticky rice in there. And so we need four more. We have some left over, so we'll just divide it evenly, I guess. Okay, so those long strips, you cut them in half and take them out. So by this time, they should be completely gelled. Okay, so gently scoop out those strips. It might be easier if you cut it in half first. There we go. Okay, so on the box, we just noticed, Matilda did, that it has different ideas that you can use to make. So you don't have to have exactly what's on the picture here. Yep, can you point out it, Matilda? There's one, two, three, four four different ideas that you can do use oh, to decorate. Well, there's another one over there, more sushi rolls. So you can kind of just put it together however you want um, with, with the ingredients that you have. So let's take a look to see what Jade's doing here with hers. So she's making her little sushi rolls. Okay, let's, she'll keep working on that and we'll come back to see what the finished product looks like. Okay, so we got the fish eggs that she's putting on there now. I love how that, how those little drops turn into the fish egg. That's pretty cool. Okay, and the last step we make is the, the like the soy sauce. So we mix the packet into that first tray. We fill that first tray up with water to the line and put that last packet in there and mix it. And this will make our soy sauce. Okay, so we got the sauce all mixed and now with the dropper, she's pouring the sauce onto the sushi rolls and it smells like a grape, like a grape haichu so it smells really good. If you guys haven't had haichus yet go to your store and find haichus. They're also Japanese candies. Uh, haichus are very very good. So just decorating with the uh, grape flavored soy sauce. All right, and this concludes our last pop and cooking with the sushi. And here's the finished product on the box of what it's supposed to look like. And here is our finished product made by Jade, our kid review judge. Look at that. Luckily, it does not taste like real sushi, um, but it does. It smells like candy, and it smells a lot like grape candy. Uh, well, speci more specifically, the grape haichus, um, which is also the Japanese product, like I mentioned. And um, this is awesome, Jade. Let's have you taste it. So let's go ahead and uh, grab one of these. And let's move this out of the way. Go ahead and grab one and taste it and see what it tastes like. Your popping cooking sushi. What do you think? Good, um, especially with the, so the sauce. The soy sauce that tastes like grape. Yeah, and but I don't really like the texture of the. Um, of the sticky rice. No, the, this. Oh, the yellow. the jelly, the yellow jelly yeah. stuff. What does that taste like? Um, I'm not really sure because the 
soy sauce kind of overpowered the flavor. Okay, the soy sauce overpowered? Yeah. The, so the grape, you taste a lot of grape? Yeah. Okay, you want to taste another one? That one looks similar, except it's the red jelly stuff instead of the yellow. It tastes more strawberry than grape. It tastes more strawberry than grape? Mm -hmm. And it's the same with the texture of the, this one. Okay. Yeah. Let's try one of the ones with the fish eggs. I'm guessing they're all going to taste the same because it's all the same ingredients. Yeah. But let's yeah try, one with, try that one with the fish eggs and the seaweed, which is uh, more grape candy. See if the, I'm curious to know if the seaweed is like an actual high chew. Oh, um. How's that one? Tastes more like high chew. It yeah. does taste like a high chew. So the the seaweed part mm -hmm. is that is that the same consi consistency of a high chew? Yeah. So it's basically a high chew. Yeah. Cool. So it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes a lot of great. Awesome. Okay, let's have the rest of the kids try. Well, wait, I forgot your review. One with the worst and ten the best. What do, what do you give this? Mm -hmm. The sushi. Pop and cooking. I'll give it um, an eight. An eight? Why? It was good. No, I didn't really like these two. Because of the jelly. You don't like the jelly stuff? Mm -hmm. But it was good and it was fun making it. Awesome. Okay, let's have the rest of the kids try it and see what their review is. Okay, everybody grabs a little piece. Let's have Ivan in there to grab a piece. Matilda looks like she's enjoying it. Okay, so we have the final review here while they're finishing up the last bits. It looks like everyone liked this one. Ivan, what do you give it? What's your score? Um, I take it a nine. A nine? Why? Um, because um, I, I like tasting it. You taste it good? Yeah. Awesome. Matilda, what do you give it? An eight. An eight? Why an eight? Because I don't like the rice because the bubble gum doesn't go good with the grape. And the jellies, I don't like the texture. Okay. But... Hey, Miriam, what score do you give this one? I give this um, an a 8 because it was good, but I didn't really like um, the texture of the... Um, the jelly? The jelly. Um, and it was fun. All right, awesome. All right, I give this one maybe the same, seven or eight. It tasted good. I mean, it tasted, well, uh, let me rephrase that. It tasted okay. Um, sweet. Um, it does have that high chew kind of flavor to it, which is pretty good. Um, but the best part of all is that the kids have fun making it, and it takes about a half hour to make. And so it's a good activity for them to do. So kids, remember, don't forget to what? Subscribe. Yes, everyone subscribe for more kid review videos. We'll see you next time.